batswana a me ke motswana ke nga dire dilo tsedi sa tshwanele tsa rona ga tshwanele rona ga se motswana sentle re batswana mose re ya tshwana batswana we test the word batswana originate well in trying to find the answers to this question i went about doing a random search online and came across different insightful articles one of them was written by this lady in america who has visited botswana i like one of the things that she said about botswana being a very inclusive word and then she went on to mention a few things about some prefixes like bo which can be attached to the word botswana to create the term Botswana, which is the name of our country today. She also mentioned the prefix ba, which defines the people when attached to the word Botswana. Similarly, se, which defines the language when attached to the word Botswana. One of the things that is clear in her article is that if I translate it into Botswana, what she saying is ba ba tswana ba tswana so incorrect incorrect tswana language i would say ba tswani but like ba tswani i also remember that i have once read this book titled shoshong a short history by jacob knight in which some of the things he mentioned were the different groups that uh, form what we know to be Botswana today and where these groups originated from and how they came up to settle down in Botswana he also mentioned something very important in my analysis which was the meaning of bakaya bakaya Bakaya, which means they can depart. So that led me to conclude that Botswana, especially when they refer to themselves, would give themselves a name that has a meaning. And they also have a tendency to give themselves or their tribes names based on their totems. Like, for instance, me, I come from a kotla in Shushong called Palain. Therefore, I am referred to as Mopalain. Mopalain. Now, where did these changes happen? Where could the confusion have arised? Their names was given by foreigners. So, it was people like David Livingston, a foreigner who settled in Africa, in Southern Africa especially, in the 18th century i did a bit of visual analysis of this artwork here which i suppose was done in the 18th century and the artist drew this from life this looks to me like an observational drawing which depicts real people who lived at the time the man in the book in the picture who is reading a book which looks like a bible is david livingston my analysis of this picture is that it could have happened at some stage that he asked one of these boys or both boys what the word similar would translate in in Setswana to which one of the boys must have answered by saying Tswana and to David Livingston because, his, because of his European origins it might have been difficult for him to pronounce the word Tswana, something that is evidenced by my own investigation yesterday when I interviewed few of my colleagues at work who mostly, most of them were Australians. And to my amazement, most of them could not pronounce the word Batswana, Batswana. Most of them said Batswana. Therefore, that led me to conclude that 
a similar mispronunciation of the word Tswana by Europeans could also have occurred at that time, which led them to pronounce the word Batswana as Batswana and wrote it down on their records the very same way that they pronounced it up until today. But still, the word Motswana would be a very incorrect way to refer to someone in Setswana. The correct way would be Motswani, meaning Wena, Rinna, Reatswana, Ribatswani, or Umotswaniwani. So, to conclude my analysis, I wrote this little poem to try and make some speculations about how the old people down in Shushong, the villages, would have pronounced these words. So, the poem goes like this. Mutwani wa mungata, wa mungata le tebe le gamola, mukuha mamungati. Ale ruta wa sami kila kaka la le ba chwani. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no